Hi friends! I hope you're having a good day. I thought I would do a casual video today to give you a quick update on the charms and keycaps that I have. So yeah, I'll just um, show them to you one by one. Alright? So there's this Lotso keychain. Their keychain from Mr. Bean. Swiss Sprite. Dango and another suit sprite for this one i've added like a phone charm so you can hang this on your phone or on your bag and i am also gonna do this oops i'm also gonna do the same with this oops, focus but i just haven't added it yet i have this new miffy glow charm so this charm um it glows in the dark not sure if you can See. Can you see? Well, it's too bright, but yeah, it glows in the dark. I have another Miffy charm that's a shopping Miffy. This is gonna look really cute hanging on your tote bag. I also made this strawberry cat charm. It's a phone charm, bag charm. You can hang it wherever you want, really. I think it's just really pretty. This is a cat drinking from a tumbler and I made this to be hung on uh, your bag or even your favorite tumbler to, to like remind you throughout the day to drink more water. And there's a glow in the dark little cat charm, a tiny one. This would be a phone charm. And I made a little ghost as well. This one also glows in the dark. So the ones that I've just showed you, they all glow in the dark. You can kind of see a little bit. There you go. Alright, and I also have some figurines, some desk buddies. Uh, this is Tofu the cat. So this is a tiny, this is like one of my best sellers and so I decided to make a tiny charm version of it. And I also have a Miffy. Crap! I also have a Miffy dust charm but this since it's almost Halloween I also made a Miffy ghost this one also glows in the dark for the Halloween theme I made um, these three musketeers <laughs> this is a Miffy patch doll charm so you have like you know a little button to replace the eye and some patchwork done and a little cute bat that I love and a little pumpkin so the pumpkin's arms and eyes and mouth they all glow in the dark as well but I have to say the glow isn't like super bright it's just like mildly glows in the dark but it has a nice effect yeah these yeah, are my Halloween babies what do you call this like a magic potion um, charm I also have this little cat and a little duck in a pumpkin suit and I'm gonna add a like a lobster charm here so you can use it either uh, on your phone or on your bag or just like anywhere you want really happy skittles I have this one hanging on my phone as well because um, she just brings me so much joy every time I see her she's a happy little thing Totoro tiny Totoro and a little chibi tutorial but it's bigger oh and also this tutorial has like glittery effect you can see it and I have a little Wara Wara as well this one is for a uh, phone charm so it has like a star and a phone charm that goes with it and I also made two little Maltese dogs this is a couple and I made my girls this is Brandy and this is Bailey gonna add these to my um, keys and I also made a little desk buddy which is this little sausage silly little sausage on a roller um, skateboard and you just sit on your desk like this, like this okay and now let's move on to the keycaps I have this cat keycap this is also a strawberry cat it's Totoro keycap with a little chibi Totoro on top and some strawberries on the side. Autumn themed Totoro with some autumn leaves around, a mushroom, 
as well as a cat friend. Another Totoro, which is uh, Totoro just sleeping. Okay, suit Sprite. And I also have a Chibi Totoro. And yeah. I have a chicken from Stardew Valley. Miffy. With some um, white, purple flowers decorating the edges. So this is a very minimalistic design that goes really well with white keyboards or like clean aesthetics. I find that a lot of my customers, they buy like all my Miffy designs as a collection. And of course, there's Grunty. For Pokemon, I haven't made a lot of Pokemons, but I've got Pikachu with a little ditto um, cushion and a pillow. It's a sleepy Pikachu. And I have a sleepy Psyduck. I also have one last uh, Gudetama. This one usually sells really fast. And this is my last one. And now you can see it from the top. So. Gudetama Bento Box, which I'm quite proud of. I love all the details in it, especially the cute little octopuses and tomatoes. Yeah. Angry Grumpy Cat hiding in a strawberry plant. Another strawberry plant, but this time it's Kirby. Slime, one of the uh, latest and like a, a good anime that I've watched recently. I really like it. Have you seen the Moon Tempest? The glow in the dark cat with its butt up. This is Cupid the cow, so it has like little heart patches around it. Care bears. Oh. Boba tea. So this series, they're all um, gummy bear shaped bears, and I'm gonna do more of them. But um, yeah, I'm thinking of new designs for these. And for Halloween themed keycaps, I have classic little boo, glows in the dark, and this is my Halloween themed. Um, well, sorry, autumn and fall themed uh, boo. So again, we have those green and red leaves scattered around and I think, yeah, I, I really like this one. A limited edition Halloween theme keycap. It's a little grave site with a skull, a pumpkin, um, some grass, and then a little boo hiding behind. And the little boo also glows in the dark. A little fox. This is one of your favorites. As well as a mole. This is my last one as well. And then I have a few pooping dogs, so I'm just going to show you a few of them. Um, this is the sausage dog. It's little poop. He looks so silly, don't you think? A pug. And the grass is a little different. I tried, I experimented with like sticking on some fake grass, so it's a different effect. I don't know how you guys feel about it. And I have a French bulldog. There you go. Also with his tongue out, I have frog. All right, that's um, the end of my video. I hope you like this kind of style of video, and I'm hoping to do one of these maybe um, every month, just to give you a quick update of like, and just show you some of the things that I have made recently. Thank you so much. Let me just end the video with this.